What's going on guys, Dan from SSG, bringing you a GOAT format deck profile. This time I'm profiling my Chaos Zombie deck. I've been playing this deck for a while. I think it's pretty well positioned in the meta right now. Uh, it's 41 cards. I am looking for something to cut, so maybe you guys can give me some advice on that. And without further ado, I let's get right into it. We got three copies of Pyramid Turtle. I like this card a lot. It's just, uh, I think it's staple at three. And um, it just floats really well. It, it fights well against Dekoichi and um, Dark Mimic level one. And I think those type of Chaos decks have to usually commit a Chaos Sorcerer to deal with this thing unless they want to use one of their reactive traps like a Ragaki Break. And if they do, then it allows you to get your other threats through. One of the threats you're always trying to get through is two copies of Spirit Reaper. At heart, this is a Spirit Reaper deck as you're really just trying to grind out your opponent one for one and then take over the game with something like a Spirit Reaper. If you can get this out early and be attacking with it directly often, then you're going to tax your opponent's resources. Then for the big zombies, we have one copy of Vampire Lord, one copy of Ryokoki. I see a lot of people not playing Ryokoki or opting for a second Vampire Lord. I do agree that at least 80% of the time when you're going into a big zombie off your Pyramid Turtle, you are going to grab Vampire Lord. But I do like the option of Ryokoki to deal with cards like Chaos Sorcerer and other big monsters, and I think it's uh, very important. Next we got BLS and Chaos Sorcerer. I like the Chaos Zombie deck a lot. I think this adds a little bit more utility to the deck and a little bit more power, which the deck does need. Um, but you can only facilitate two Chaos Monsters because the Pyramid Turtles do take up s some slots away from the Light and Dark Monsters. Um, so I think this is the right number, but I do like these cards a lot in this deck. Then we have for Darks, one copy of Sangin. Just get your engine going. A nice floater. We got Breaker and Kaiku. I like Breaker a lot. It's just like a standard card. Um, pretty staple in my opinion. And Kaiku is actually going up on my radar a little bit. I think that it's starting to become a staple as well um, because it's just really good against the Chaos decks. There's so many Chaos Sorcerers running around in GOAT format right now. And with, when this deck's trying to one phone with your opponent, if the last card standing or one of the last cards standing is a Kaiku, you'll be able to cut them off from their graveyard and it can take over a game. For Lights, we're playing the... Thunder Dragon engine, so 3 Thunder Dragon, it's just really strong. Um, in this deck especially, when you're only playing 2 Chaos Monsters, all you need is 1 Thunder Dragon to set up your lights for the entire game, which is why I like it a lot. It also gives you protection from the Delinquent Duo, and gives you some fodder to discard. Other light monsters include Ashura Priest and Blade Knight. I like Ashura Priest a lot because Goats is actually really good against this deck. Um, Pyramid Turtle, Spirit Reaper, those cards aren't very good against Scapegoat, so I do like having the hard counter in Ashura Priest. And then I am tacking one Blade Knight right now because it's just really good against all the flip effect monsters like Tokoichi and then also uh, Dark Mimics and things like that. So, And also, when you're running low on cards, which you are really trying to do when you're trying to one for one with your opponent, it becomes a, big, a bigger uh, beat stick, so it's very good. And the last two monsters are Tribe Infected Virus and Sinister Serpent. Sinister Serpent, again, it's just a staple card. I think it's really powerful. And we are playing some discard uh, traps to go along with it and then tribe infective virus gets rid of goats gives us another answer for that and then also gets rid of big creatures which can this deck can uh, have a little bit of trouble with um, but the chaos engine does help with that as well spells we got two creature swap this is mainly a combo with pyramid turtle you give them a pyramid turtle then they uh you you take their monster you attack it you go you get yourself a big threat or you get yourself a spirit reaper to attack directly um, if you can pull this off in the early game with a spirit reaper then you can really tax their resources and take control of the game. It also combos with Ashura Priest, which is really good. You take the, you give them the Ashura Priest, take their monster, and then the Ashura Priest goes to your hand, which is really good as well. We have two copies of Book of Life. I used to just run one of this a lot, but uh, the graveyard removal effect is really, really helpful against those Chaos matchups. So I do think between those two and the Haiku, it adds just enough removal to be able to tax them consistently and their graveyard will not be able to um, be fully functional. And also, this card is just like an extended play, not having to use your normal summon, um, not having to commit to anything, you just summon a big guy from the grave for free, or float a Pyramid Turtle, uh, can be really strong. We have two copies of Knock. I think this card is just staple right now at two. Um, it's just really strong. There's so many things that you want to be hitting with this thing, and yeah, it's just really good. Uh, you have to main in this deck because the two Gravekeeper Spies that um, a lot of the Chaos decks and Go Control players are playing. You have to get rid of those spies. For power spells, Pot of Greed, um, Duo, and 
Graceful Charity. I see some people cutting the duo uh, in some decks, but in this deck it's really uh, important because we're really trying to just get at their hand size and um, keep taxing them. We got Heavy Storm and Mystical Space Typhoon, just good removal. Then we have Premature Burial and Snatch Steel. Staple cards. I like Snatch Steel a lot in this deck because you can tribute over for your big zombies if they're stuck in your hand. Um, and also you can just take their monster and then normal summon a Spear Reaper, which is also very good. Then we are playing for Traps. We're playing the full three copies of Trap Dust Shoot. I like this card a lot in this deck. Um, you're really just trying to one phone with your opponent, and this is one of the most powerful one for one cards in the format. As whenever you get to choose the terms in which you're one for oneing with your opponent, that's what you really want to be doing with a card that's a one for one. And a lot of times they play really slow against you as you're just floating with the Pyramid Turtle. They're going to have a lot of cards in their hand. Uh, in mid game, a lot of the Chaos decks just hold on to their cards that they can try to kill you, and you can just pick off a uh, BLS or a Chaos Sorcerer before they summon it. So I think that card's really good. We have two Raigeki Break. This card's really strong. We have the Discard Fodder with uh, Sinister and two Thunder, uh, the three Thunder Dragons. So I do like this card. Um, it's just a universal and versatile answer and very reactive. Two less reactive cards. Um, only responding to attacks is Mirror Force and Sakuretsu Armor. I'm not a huge fan of these cards because I think they're just really not that great against cards like the Kochi and um, Magician of Faith. But in this deck, I think they're important because you can just clear the way for your Reapers to get in and get at your opponent's hand. So I think they're very good cards in this deck specifically. Uh, rounding out the traps, we have one copy of Ring of Destruction. Very active card, very powerful. And then, of course, we have Torrential Tribute to float with our Sangan and really just clear the way, get our Reapers in. Very powerful card. So that's the deck, guys. Uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Let me know what you would cut from this deck. Um... I do like this deck a lot, um, and it's a lot of fun. I've been enjoying GOAT format, so I'm probably going to bring you some more of those profiles, different decks. So um, that's about it, guys. This is Dan V from SSG signing out.